This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, this is the uh, final lecture on inventories, and it's the fourth one. Uh, and it's a very brief one, but I, uh, we went through the uh, debits credits. Uh, I went through the valuation of the inventory, both um, law of cost net realizable value and average cost and FIFO. Uh, but you will see towards the end of the notes, it says the provisions of international accounting standard number two. Um, and all right, I've mentioned the two main provisions, value of the lower of cost and net realizable value, and um, these different ways of getting the cost. So I'm not going to repeat those. Uh, well, those are in accounting standard number two, but in addition, it talks about how we value inventories when we make our own. So if we manufacture our own goods, The same rules still apply, you know, everything I've said before, but they say that the cost must include all costs of production, but only costs of production. So what I mean by that is a business will have lots and lots of costs, obviously. But when we're valuing our inventory, if we make our own goods, now you won't be asked calculations on this bit, so don't worry. But if we make our own goods, we must include all the costs in the factory. So think about it. What, what sort of costs might we have? What about the raw materials? By raw materials, I mean things like we make desks and use wood. Fine. Well, that's a cost of making our goods. That would be included. What about the depreciation of um, the computers in the accounts department? Well, it's a cost to the business, but of course it's not a cost in the factory. We don't include that when we're valuing our inventories. What about rent of the factory? Yes, it's a cost of the factory. It's a cost of production. And what about the wages of the delivery men? We deliver to the customers and we pay the driver's wages. No, it's a cost of the company, but it isn't a cost of actually making the goods. Uh, what about depreciation of the machines in the factory? Yes. It's a cost in the factory, you would include it. Well, by now, I think you should have got the idea. If it's a cost in the factory, we would include it. Any other costs, like our administration departments, our um, delivery vans and so on, you wouldn't include. Just two bits of terminology you might see. One is this, carriage. Inwards. Now, um, especially if you're not, well, even if you're English, the, t the terminology can be a bit problematical. Carriage is another word for delivery. And inwards, it's delivery into our company, it's delivery from suppliers. So, um, if I'm buying wood to make desks, the supplier 
might charge me with the delivery, well, it's an extra cost of getting the wood. You would include it. Delivery of goods into the factory. And finally, carriage outwards. Well, again, it's delivery, delivery expenses going out of our building. So why are we delivering out of our building? It's delivery to customers. Well, I think this you should be able to uh, tell me effectively. But delivering to customers, it, it may be an expense for us, but it's not part of the cost of actually making the goods. It would not be included. So, like I say, we're not worried about uh, arithmetic there, but you could get uh, asked, you know, given a series of expenses like that, and say which would be included or which wouldn't be included. Okay, so that's the end of inventory. That's the end of the the four adjustments I referred to earlier.